Are you still using a 5G iCloud plan to transfer data with your iPhone? That won't be necessary. In today's video, we will show you 4 diverse methods to transfer data from iPhone to iPhone without using iCloud, and compare which one is faster or more stable. If you are interested, please subscribe to our channel and watch till the end. Here, we recommend PhonePo iOS Transfer. Simple steps for transferring, plus its fast processing speed and stability, offer you a pretty good experience. First, you can download this app from the description below. Then install and run it on your computer. Plug both your iPhone device us with USB cables to the computer. Remember to check if your computer successfully recognizes your device us. Then choose one iPhone as the source. Here, select a file type on the left side. Then click here to choose the files that you want to transfer. After selecting your files for the transfer, click here to transfer them to your other iPhone. You can also utilize Quick Start built-in features of the iPhone, especially when you set up a new phone. Make sure that your old iPhone is well connected to Wi-Fi and the Bluetooth is on too. Set up the language and country on your new phone first. Then for the rest of the data transfer, you can enter Quick Start. A pop-up window will appear after you place the old iPhone next to the new iPhone. Here, you click Continue to enter the Quick Start. Then it will require achieving a connection between two iPhones by scanning animated images on the new iPhone with the old iPhone. After scanning, choose Setup for me on your old iPhone and finish the settings. Select Transfer from iPhone. Agree to the terms and click Continue. Data transfer is processing. Wait a while and the transfer is complete. If you only have a little data to transfer, AirDrop is worth considering for its simple operation. Check both your iPhones to see if the AirDrop feature is on. Don't forget to turn on your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth as well. Tap to select the files that you want to transfer. Click here to open the Share options, and select the AirDrop option. Then it will turn to the page of the detected device. Tap on the profile image of another iPhone. There is one additional method that you must know about. That is iTunes or Finder Backup. It is a well-known official way of file transfer, but it comes with a tiny compromise for the lack of preview feature. Set up or reset your iPhone until you enter the page of the apps and data screen. Then tap Restore from Mac or PC. Plug your iPhone into the computer with a USB cable. Remember, the computer shall have the backup data prepared for the restoration. Open iTunes, then go to the device and click on the summary. Find Restore Backup there and tap it to start the restoration. Open Finder and choose iPhone. Then go to the General here and click Restore Backup after you set up the parameters. Among the above mentioned ways, all have their strengths. But how do you choose one that best suits you? Phone Po iOS transfer is highly recommended due to its simple operations and fewer constraints on large transfer volumes and it's quick and stable. Quick start could be a good way, but it requires a reset for your iPhone. AirDrop suits transferring a limited number of files while making a concession on stability. iTunes or Finder backup will require reset too. Do the above methods help? If you don't want to miss any information or operational guide about iOS device us such as the iPhone or iPad, you can subscribe to our channel and get the latest news firsthand. Thank you for watching.